Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video we're going to learn how to make a washcloth or dishcloth and um, I've done one here. This is what it looks like and it's the same, I've knitted it the same way like I've knitted my uh, baby blanket diagonally. So you start down here with four stitches and then you go halfway with increases and then you start decreases until you finish. Actually, this is where you start. So you start here and you go all the way there. This is what it looks like. Uh, the same on both sides. I use garter stitch because the um, uh, the bumps, they're good for, um, you know, like exfoliating and all that. Uh, you can use it as your to wash your body, you can use it to wash dishes. Uh, clean surfaces. Now um, you do have to make it out of cotton or at least 50 cotton, 50 acrylic. I do not recommend wool because when you put it in the washing machine it's just going to shrink. And um, yeah, these are, these are um, a great way to um, reuse your washcloths, you know, uh, and uh, they're they're handmade you make them yourself so they're um, made <laughs> by you and they have more significance I guess um, but they're very easy so I'm just going to show you how to um, to start and then how to do the increases and then I'm going to let you um, knit until up here and then I'll show you how to do the decreases okay so the things you need, hang on, I just dropped my needles. Okay. Um, you need cotton yarn and I have here, this one, um, I, I used this before and it's, it's nice and it's, it's um, cheap. Uh, it's called Cotton Soft by King Cole. Uh, it's 100 grams and you knit it with four millimeter needles. Um, this is a pink, but they have so many different colors. Um, yeah, it's 100% cotton, 210 meters. Um, so you get a lot of washcloths from this one. I started a new skein. I've knitted one and you can hardly see that I've used it. Here are my um, trusty Knit Pro um, needles in four millimeter. I just have a, a short cable because um, this is like a short, um, like a small project to knit and um, I, I like to use cable needles so I don't worry about my stitches falling off the double pointed needles. You want to leave a, a little bit of a tail because we have to weave in that end in a special way because it's cotton. We're going to do a slip knot. and. I'm going to cast on four stitches so I've got one stitch and then I'm going to wrap the yarn like this I'm going to do two stitches three stitches four stitches okay now we have four stitches and we're going to start our increases now we always do the increases at the beginning of the row and then we continue knitting to the end of the row so we never forget what row we're at. And the way we're going to do the increases, um, we, we, we're going to um, knit two, which is going to be the border. Let me just show you. So, hang on, the increases. So we always knit, start with knit two and then we do a yarn over which makes this decorative holes. And then we continue knitting. Very, very simple. This is a very, very simple washcloth. And obviously you can make it as big as you want to make it into a blanket or um, placemat. So we're going to start with knit one. Knit an another one. Okay, so that's the border. Then we're going to do yarn yarn over. So we just wrap the needle around our yarn, and then we're going to knit to the to the end of the row. 
which is just two stitches because we just started okay so for this you only need to know how to knit you don't need to pull then we're going to turn our work and we're going to do the same thing yeah so we're going to knit one we and the first rows are a bit hard because the stitches are tight knit another one yarn around the needle and knit to the end and here I am apologizing again for noises I've got this big truck outside that's going above our building which is so weird anyway okay the next round knit one knit another one yarn around the needle knit to the end And you'll see it's going to start looking like something soon. We're just going to do a couple more and then I'll let you knit uh, the rest until we start the decreases. So knit one, knit another one, yarn around needle or yarn over, knit to the end. And as you can see, it's already starting to shape up. One, two, yarn around our needle, knit to the end. And we always knit through the front because we, the, we want the yarn overs to look um, nice, like holes. One, two, yarn over, knit to the end. And you want to continue doing this um, for as long as you want, obviously. Um, but I, uh, I don't even know how many, how many rows I've done. It, it doesn't really matter. You can, you can just make it as as long as you want but when you start so you start knitting here and then you keep going you keep going and then when when this side is as wide as you want your washcloth to be then we're going to start sorry we're going to start the decreases so keep going like this until um, you want to start the decreases and i'll see you there so um, now we've knitted half of the washcloth, as you can see. So we went halfway and now we need to start the decreases. Um, and uh, let me just show you how to do that because it's very easy. Oh, here we go. So when you, once you get to the desired length, of your or width or anyways it's going to be a square of your washcloth like this you want to start the decreases and all you got to do oh my goodness all you got to do is um, this we're going to start by knit one then we're going to knit two together Just make sure that you pull on your yarn. Then we do a yarn over, knit two together again. And then we knit to the end of our um, row. And that is it. That's what you do every beginning of the row, at every beginning of the row until you're left with just uh, two, three stitches, uh, three, three stitches, let's say, and then you're just going to bind off. And that is it, your washcloth done. As you can see, 
um, the work will already start to turn on the next see there's already a corner there so it's gonna turn like that but yeah I hope that this is easy for everyone and do let me know in the comments if you need any extra help with this um, and uh, I'll see you in my next one bye